Welcome to Miller's Monsters, and I am Mr. Beelzebub, Count Luna, and behind me is Edgar P. the Scully, and Count Luna's leaving for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, I'm about to go into my reaction to Signal 100 2019 Japanese uh, splatter film. And uh, before I do, though, hit the like, hit subscribe, ring that bell, tell your friends about us so you don't miss another blood-soaked episode. And of course, as always, there may be spoilers ahead. All right, so Signal 100. Um, I read, uh, I was reading an article on new uh, horror coming out on streaming services, and I read about this one coming out on Screenbox, which I think is a wonderful streaming service. Um, that's not a plug, that's just my opinion. And, uh, uh, I said, well, I like Japanese splatter films, and this one fit the bill. And so I sat down and watched it. Uh, the very next day, it just came out this week, so it's pretty new to Screenbox. And uh, the premise is this, is a uh, student, or no, I'm sorry, a teacher hypnotizes his students. And uh, I don't know, there's about 50 students in the class, and he hypnotizes them all at once in a group hypnosis. And if a certain signal is given, they will commit suicide. And uh, there's 100 signals, the teacher explains to them. Uh, and once uh, they're triggered, the, the hypnosis takes over and they become stronger and just immediately go off and uh, kill themselves. And uh, very quickly, half the class is dispersed because one of the rules is don't use your cell phone. And of course, uh, everybody goes to use their cell phone, you know, to call 911, things like that. And uh, they all end up going out, going crazy, and uh, are gone after the first 10 minutes of the movie. Um, the, the premise, so the rest of the movie is about trying to figure out what these 100 signals are so they can protect themselves from triggering and uh, killing themselves. And uh, before the teacher disappears, uh, he tells them, you know, the last one to survive. Uh, will be unhypnotized. Otherwise, there's no other way. And uh, so uh, very quickly, uh, the class is divided, you know, working against each other. Nobody's to be trusted. Um, you know, uh, eventually they get banned together and, and try to discover a way to break this hypnosis. And while researching it, uh, a few of them come upon a book that explains how this, was, this technique was used in a cult to, uh, you know, keep everybody in line. And uh, the reason only one person is sur could survive was to keep the cult going. And uh, that seems a pretty silly way to keep the cult going. Um, but, of course, if it's a cult, not many people want to be there. And, uh, you know, they use this to keep whoever's there in line. So we have two people that have found out uh, 64 of the signals because it was written in this book and uh now they have the the advantage in the game and so they're now plotting to get other people to trigger 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 man that was a tough word there today trigger themselves into killing themselves so they're leading these people into uh, uh doing uh certain things and uh you know, one of them is, you know, as we find out through here is uh, uh, you can't drink out of a water bottle. So they lead them into searching for food and water. And, of course, as soon as a group, a search group uh, uh, finds the water, they drink it. And the next scene, you know, they have all hung themselves. And that's all I'm going to go into about all the uh, the ways or triggers. And because uh, I do want to leave a little suspense if you do want to watch this movie. And I'll give you my opinion in a, in a few minutes on if you uh, should go out and catch this movie. Um, but uh, eventually, the another group of students discovers the other 36 uh, signals, which were... Uh, well, I guess I can't say that anyways. Uh, it's because, again, I'm going to try not to uh, spoil it for you. Um, so they eventually... Uh, 
come head to head, these two groups. And, uh, you know, the one is about ready to uh, trigger the other group, and uh, they find out that, uh, you know, the other group knows the other 36, so, uh, you know, they, they start to break down, and, and, you know, one faction doesn't want to kill the other. And uh, before all this can happen, I'm going to tell you one more of the signals. Our original person that found the original uh, book comes in wearing a raincoat and is carrying two bears. And hallelujah, who wouldn't want a bear at this time? Shakes them up, uh, comb stole Steve Austin style, and starts spraying beer over everyone. And that is a trigger. No beer showers. How in the hell did that make a list of triggers for a cult? I guess this was common in cults back in the day. I don't know. I've never been a part of one. I've been part of a college group. And yes, I have had a beer shower. So luckily, I wasn't hypnotized and I was never triggered to uh, dispose of myself, although probably right now many of you uh, <laughs> kind of wish I would just go away. Um, it's sensitive material, I know. Uh, so that eliminates most everybody else in the group. There's four survivors left, and the battle between the four go on until there is one survivor out of the group, and uh, uh, she she makes it, and at the end uh, it confronts the teacher. Uh, that did all this and hypnotizes him so uh, i hope i didn't spoil too much um okay i you know i have a penchant for japanese splatter movies uh they're one of my favorite things to watch uh they're usually uh pretty uh imaginative and fun to watch i don't think this is one of those um i'm impressed you know with the amount of fake blood they use that's always a marks a checkbox on, on my movies. Uh, the story itself being hypnotized and all that is intriguing. Um, and trying to figure out, uh, you know, the hundred signals, uh, that's a pretty good uh, puzzle. And uh, it just didn't uh, float my boat, so to speak. Um, you know, it I can't say how the acting was because it's subtitled and it's kind of hard to judge acting when you're uh, reading the subtitles all the time. Um, but uh, it could have done more with the story. It could have done more with the special effects. And it definitely could have done more with the ending of the movie, which I did not like at all. Um, I couldn't figure out how we got to this ending. It's, it's like, uh, well... There's the last survivor. They should have just ended it there and be done with it. And I go, oh, we got to have some kind of closure. So, you know, let's let's uh, do this scenario at the end. And it, it's like, no, you know, how could this even happen? Uh, how could the key teacher survive what he, you know, went through in, in the school and, and how he just jumped out a window? Um, how did the last survivor find them? It, it just, uh, the ending was pretty bad in this case. So on my scale, um, I wouldn't go out of my way to watch this one. Uh, unfortunately, it, it hurts me to say so. Uh, there's a lot better Japanese uh, splatter movies out there. Uh, so if you're curious, if you like Japanese splatter, it might be worth a watch. But uh, if you're new to that type of movie, this is not one to cut your teeth on. Go watch Meatball Machine or Machine Gun Girl. Uh, those are a whole lot more fun. You know, they're crazy creatures and a lot more blood splatter uh, in those movies. And I'll talk about those more in the future. So I'll give it a two and a half out of five. Not one to uh, go and search out. And if you liked what you heard, and maybe I saved you from going to see this movie, um, hit the subscribe, ring the bell, hit the like. Tell your friends about us and set yourself up for notifications so you don't miss another intriguing, mesmerizing episode. Follow the pen, okay? Follow the pen. I am hypnotizing you right now to hit the subscribe button. When I say the tag word, I'll talk to you later, you're going to hit 
the subscribe button. I'll talk to you later.